categories. The winners included Kimberly Inns, uh, Delon Phoenix, and Oralua Cherubin. Young Inns, who won the under eight category, says that she was prepared for victory. I always got advice from my coach, my parents, my teammates, and everybody to give me encouragement to bring the trophy back. And you want to be a top swimmer? How far do you want to go? All the way up to Olympics. How soon? I don't know, maybe a few years. She'll get there for sure. Felix had a fantastic meeting, winning six out of eight races to be contested that he contested. The two races I didn't get goal in was the two breast strokes, which was not really my strong point. But the, I think the six other races, I broke the records in the ones I got gold in. So I was happy with that. Tell me the areas, the um, strokes that you stood out in. I stood out in 100 backstroke, 50 backstroke, 100 free, 400 free and 200 free. Those are the races I stood out most in. Was it a walkover or you had keen competition from the other swimmers? I had keen competition from St. Vincent and Antigua. They put up a fight against me, but it was an easy competition. It was tough. Still have your plans uh, set towards the Olympics in the next Next, not the one coming, but the next one? Uh, yes, I have my plan set. I would start chain now, so when, I, when it reaches, I'm not, I'm not unprepared for it. I'm ready for it, so that I can do my best and at least try to make semi-finals or even finals. Trebin was the most decorated swimmer, winning 13 gold medals in the girls' uh, 15 to 17 category. I won all my individual races as well as helped my team in winning our two relays. Races, um, backstroke, tell me about Um I did 200 IM, 400, 200, 150 free, 150 backstroke, 150 fly, 150 breaststroke. Right, and um, how was the competition like? Uh, was it a walkover, a walk in the park? Um, no, it wasn't a walk in the park. We did a tremendous amount of training before and it was very stiff and I'm proud to have come back with so many medals. Your top competitors, who were they? Um, my top competitors were, would have to be Laura Bruce from St. Lucia, Jasmine St. Gupta from Antigua and Bailey Spiegelberg from St. Lucia. Where does, you leave, where does this leave you as you look forward and um, look to even go further, excel further? Well, it leaves me in high spirits knowing that all my training is paying off and that I'm moving forward in this sport and I'm, I hope to move forward further. National swimmer there, Oralua Cherubin. In football, Guab FC and J. Marks and Setters have drawn first blood in the GFA Second Division playoff, winning the opening matches on Monday. Guab FC beat Christian Strikers two goals to nil at the Computer Spark in Guab, while Sunsetters stopped North Stars uh, four goals to nil at Fur Pastor in St. Patrick. The return fixtures are scheduled for Saturday, November the 17th. Uh, the final is set for November the 23rd. The top teams will pr be promoted to the GFA First Division in 2013. The quarterfinals of the Wagi T Super Knockout Football Tournament are being played out this weekend, Friday and Saturday. In the opening matches Friday, Lime Paradise made J Mark Construction Sunsetters in the first game from 6 o'clock. The other, some two hours later, it matches Hard Rock and Ball Dogs. Saturday sees the new GBSS tackling uh, Boca Juniors in the opening game from 6 o'clock. While the second features a mouth watering clash between Hurricanes and uh, Petra Crave Queen's Park Rangers. All the action, of course, at the Queen's Park. The semifinals or the winners meet in the semifinals next weekend. Well, that sport, some Trevor Thwaites. Folk Festival 2013, celebrating our Indian heritage, featuring music, food, arts, crafts, fashion, and a tour of the northern coastline aboard the Discovery Train, December 6th to 8th. Stay tuned for more information.
Thank you, Trevor. Recapping the main points, China assisting Grenada in its energy conservation efforts. WRB advises government that bid price per share in Grenick is too low and two bills down for first reading when Parliament meets on Friday. That is DGIS News. I'm Leslie Ann Johnson Cornwall. On behalf of all those who made it possible, we thank you for your